Uh, today I'll, I will be explaining how I did this uh, custom uh, button interface, similar to how I did uh, here. So on the palette I will select the auto UI and also the basic widgets. Then turn off the display on the auto UI. And so the basic widgets has uh, like some templates that we can work with. I will create a basic uh, network. Just for example, I will make this into a I will collapse this and change it to a container. So change the size. And then can customize the component to have uh, some sliders. So I can For example, pick the radius, and now I need this to be a slider, so I will change it to a float and size one, and so I need to change it to only radius. Now I have a slider. Now to create the custom, oops. The custom uh, interface we will create another container. We can name this interface and then this is the network. On this auto UI, I will drag the interface to the UI and then the network to the custom crop. I will then uh, generate the UI. And then align it to top to bottom, and then you can see that we have the the slider that was on this uh, basic widgets template. I will actually just um, make the default to zero, so it starts here. Now, to change it, we will, so this is the slider that you want. I will make a backup and create and name it a backup. And we will change the this one. So I can start off by creating a rectangle. and use the resolution, the, the parent width and height fraction and to one you can call this the background and then on the look we will call and then on the look we will call the background I think it's inside and we will turn off the background alpha and make the top field to native resolution now if we view here we can change uh, stuff like the radius I will also turn off the so the label I will turn off the background color and I will so I will use the 
So the look here and uh, the color of the rectangle. So I can just drag it and bind it. So whenever I change the color here, it also changes there. <coughs> And I can do the same thing on the uh, here. So this is a background again, and I will call the background and actually just turn this off. I think I can just right. in the field I can turn the alpha and I can again so just change the color so on a field I can put these colors here bind it I also suggest that you center this and take off the offset so it, it's really in the center. And on the slider I will turn off the the label display. And now to make the the circle, I will disconnect this and create a, another rectangle. And I can again use the parent width and height. And on the size, I will use the height as uh, pixels and I can also change the radius here so now if I uh, change so we will so now if I change the like the value you can see that this value here is changing so I will just grab uh, that number with a constant chop this one I'll call this the value And you can see that it's actually going from 0 to 1, but I want uh, the pixel value, so use a matte chop. And instead of going from 0 to 1, we want from 0 to the parent uh, width. You can drop this value uh, on the center. And make it pixels Sorry. and align justify it to the left you can see that it's working but we actually need to so it's like uh, clipping there so we need to subtract the parent um, Parent height, and now it's working. You can also change. Um, so if I click here, it should be clicking on, on the center of the circle, but it's not. It's like misaligned, and you can fix that by 
going so is a constant trap here again we can fix that by changing these values here so I will get the width of this uh, container again is a net and instead of going 0 to 1 it's actually going again this value and we want to subtract the the parent height and we want to invert that such actually and we will use this value here And we can also drop this value to here and make like 1 plus that value, I mean 1 minus that value. And we will also, whoops, we will also need to uh, sub, um, divide it by 2. So now as you can see it's working correctly. And we can also uh, create the uh, the line. So again, parent width and height. Let's actually make this pixel values and use it in the is the parent width. And then here we can just make it uh, two and also disable the anti alias. Can add them together with a over comp. So like this. We will uh, subtract the um, the parent height here also. Oops. And then the progress bar. We can just duplicate it and make it like blue and again use this value here uh, use pixels actually so we will use the parent width the negative parent width plus the value so it's backwards you can add it here we will also need to add the parent height and then to fix this like overlapping we can just plug this here and make it inside it 
it's there it's working like it's supposed to we can also fix this like uh, rollover you can see that it's still a rectangle you can make that so just duplicate it the uh, background call this like background rollover you can take these values of the original rollover and put it here also the alpha now we can just make this zero and the background rollover and native resolution and you can see it's working now and you can make the same to the to the slider so just paste another background call it roll over and do the same thing here and it's working so now that we have the button made we can just delete the old one and create generate UI again and as you can see and we can also just go ahead and change again the the values, the, the colors and all So yeah, that's it. I also just suggest that you um, like play with the uh, margins and all. So something like ten and also the spacing. You can obviously change the the height. You can also so you can see that it's like clip clipping through and giving uh, negative numbers to fix that you can just go to customize component and turn on the clamp and now it's clamping the values there that's it